This is the Sunday Business Page with John Delano. Good morning, I'm John Delano. Welcome to another edition of the Sunday Business Page. And our very special guest this morning is Evan Frazier, who is the president and CEO of the Advanced Leadership Institute right here in Pittsburgh. Evan, it's good to be with you again. Thanks for being with us. It's great to be here with you again, John. Thank you so much. So a lot of folks are probably wondering what exactly is the Advanced Leadership Institute or TALI for short? Yeah. So our, uh, our mission at TALI is uh, to cultivate black executive leadership to strengthen companies, institutions, and communities. Um, at the end of the day, you know, we want to create a more, um, you know, inclusive and prosperous community for all. Uh, and, and, at the, uh, and, and we really do it through uh, focus on executive education. And so we, um, uh, it's not just about educating, but it's about educating, developing, connecting, and positioning kind of diverse talent for executive leadership. And, and uh, we have uh, numerous programs from emerging leaders through an executive program. Uh, that we believe are, are having real impact both locally and we've started to build nationally as well. I know I interviewed you when we you first got started in this program and then and the notion was really to seek out young African American potential leaders and train them and give them the help so that they could become what some people call the C-suite or the part of the leadership of various companies and organizations in Pittsburgh. How successful do you think you've been? I think we've been uh, been very successful uh, so far. I mean, and, and again, it's it's not only um, uh, you know uh, potential leaders, but many are leaders. It's uh, potential leaders, grown leaders, uh, but also everyone uh, has an opportunity to grow. But we've been very successful. Um, uh, we track people for two years after they complete our programs, and uh, just to give you a sense, uh, our 2019 cohort after two years. Uh, 87% received uh, uh, promotions or significant additional responsibility within two years. Our 2020 cohort, it was 96%. And we're seeing really great growth. The other thing that we uh, solved for is our biggest, one of our biggest challenges uh, when it came to diverse leadership, particularly African American Black leadership in Pittsburgh, is it was like a revolving door. And we have about a 90% retention rate uh, for the folks staying in the region. Uh, after they go through our programs. And uh, that's a drastic difference uh, from what they saw before. So uh, uh, we're seeing a lot of great progress. Again, we built it initially to solve two big issues. One was uh, the issue that people felt that they were just getting stuck in middle management, didn't have any room for growth. So they left the city because they didn't think they could grow here. And the second uh, big issue is uh, that they were leaving, not because they didn't have a, a good position, but they felt like they didn't belong. They felt isolated and disconnected. So we've been effective at creating a, a greater sense of community that uh, allow people to want to stay here in our region to grow and build, uh, which is what we need uh, here in Pittsburgh. Well, that is actually a huge success. If you get folks who will stay in the Pittsburgh area after you've trained them, uh, regardless of race or background, that's a, that's a huge success story, Evan. The other thing that I think is amazing about what you've been doing is that you've gone national. In addition to just focusing on training local African-American business leaders and community leaders, you're now doing this nationwide? Yes. So um, what we found, uh, there were a couple different uh, things. One, we know the need is much greater than just Pittsburgh and Western Pennsylvania. So we know there's a broad need out there. But two, um, in response to some of the needs of our Pittsburgh-based companies, many have employees across the country. And so we felt, felt it was important to have an option where people who are not based in our region that are in different time zones across the country uh, can participate in a, in a structure uh, program that uh, will deliver uh, the same kind of uh, content and experience. And uh, that we've uh, been able to do that. We uh, graduated our first National Executive Leadership Academy cohort uh, and uh, again, in partnership with Carnegie Mellon, their Tepper School Business, uh, just this past December. So we have the local programs, the Emerging Leaders, and the Executive Leadership Academy, and now our national program, uh, which uh, is uh, we're super excited about as we expand. And we think there's opportunities to grow that even further. We only have about 10 seconds, Evan, but if somebody wanted to be part of this, how do they get in touch with you? Reach out to us at uh, www. 
uh, tallyinstitute.org. That's T A L I Institute.org. Evan Frazier, the CEO of Tally, thank you so very much for spending time with us today. I really appreciate it. John, thank you so much. Pleasure to be here. And thank you for watching this edition of the Sunday Business Page. Have a great Sunday, everybody.